Okay, can we... Welcome back to another Good Morning KU. I'm Bella Line. And I'm Catherine Galliani. This week, uh, TMZ Sports released a video of ex NFL running back Zach Stacy domestically abusing his ex girlfriend. He's being charged with aggravated battery and was booked into the Orange County Corrections Department yesterday. Mm -hmm. His ex girlfriend was treated for a potential head wound in the hospital after the attack. The incident allegedly occurred at 2 p.m. on Saturday. That is just such a crazy story. I saw that video yesterday. The video it was is really heartbreak. disturbing. It's really hard to watch. And I know domestic um, violence has been on a huge rise since the beginning of COVID. So that's really sad that we're seeing that still. But um, in good news, uh, KU had an amazing upset against Austin, Texas last weekend. And I was fortunate enough to get to go. Bella so. was there. So tell us about the experience. It was just incredible. The atmosphere was insane. I hate to say it, but Texas has the coolest stadium. Oh, it, no. It was insane. They have so much money put into that football program for sure. And then Jared Casey winning that two-point touchdown, so that was amazing. Yeah, what a game. One point. It went, Overtime. It went, absolutely, it went absolutely crazy. The atmosphere was insane. <laughs> So that was an amazing upset for KU, and it was just crazy going home, especially after in the airport. So that was great. But there's been lots of talk about it this week. Oh, and absolutely. Everyone's really excited. Absolutely. So, what are your Thanksgiving plans? I am going home to Chicago yet again, driving the Sorry. eight hours by myself. I enjoy doing it. What about you? See, I you, I cannot believe that you enjoy driving eight hours. I know. That would just absolutely kill me. But I'm going down to southeast Kansas. It's where kind of my dad's at and um, all my family. So I'm just going down to our farm and hanging out there, having bonfires, fun stuff like that. Are you hosting your Thanksgiving? No. Well, my grandma is. So it's like kind of, yeah. But, yeah, we're just doing some all the all the normal food. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food. My favorite Thanksgiving food is homemade mac and cheese. The thick noodles with the yeah. big stuffy cheese. Absolutely. That's my favorite. What about you? That's such a hard one. I think, well, I love pumpkin pie, of course, but then I don't really like turkey. Like, I just don't like turkey. I don't, I don't like think... dry turkey. Yeah. It has to be cooked right. Yeah. I always, we always get a honey, like honey smoked ham or whatever it's mm. called. That's always, always my favorite. So that's great. But in other news, um, young Dolph was killed this week at 36 years old in Memphis, which is actually his hometown. He was killed going into a cookie shop. So it was just a random um, shooting, which is so sad. But so Christmas is coming up, though. So that is super exciting. And I already have my tree up. Oh, so my she's goodness. She's really cute. Oh, she's that cute. is so cute, Bella. <laughs> did you put all the ornaments on there, I or did. did it come like that? No, I did it all myself. Aww. So, yeah, it's seven feet tall. Um, Connor was actually making fun of it earlier, of course. Um, she's a little bit skinny, but <laughs> <laughs> she's really cute, and I love her. So, very exciting to get all my Christmas stuff up. Unpopular opinion, and I might get some hate for this, but I don't get in the Christmas spirit until after Thanksgiving. No yeah. way. See, all my stuff is up. November November 1st hits and immediate. It's up. Yeah, no, I, love I don't it. feel that way. Really? Maybe I'm Scrooge, but. No, oh. no. I feel like that's normal. I always get hate for putting up my stuff early? too early. Yeah. Yes. No, my mom gets like the HOA called on her all the time for putting her lights <laughs> up and things too early. And she's like, I don't really care. Like, call yeah. the HOA. So that's so funny. But 
KU is playing TCU this weekend, so are you going to watch the game? I'm going to watch the game. I'm hoping for another upset. Absolutely. I guess we're in a winning streak, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So exciting. And they're playing at TCU, which Fort Worth is just absolutely so much fun. The stockyards, everything. So awesome. any KU students that are going to that, I'm very jealous. Mm. And then the Chiefs are playing the Cowboys this weekend, which is an amazing game, especially the Cowboys. I know they've done really, really well. Mm -hmm. And the tickets I know are up for like $2,000 wow. at Arrowhead. I know. I was trying to find tickets. Oh, and my God. I, just too expensive for me on yeah. a college budget. Too much. Yeah. But. No broke college student going to that $2,000 Oh, game. absolutely not. But I'm wearing my Red Friday stuff to support. So cute. So I'm very excited. But all right, I think that's all we have for this week. So thank you for joining, and we'll be back with the news. For students searching for a way to stay active in an outdoorsy way, the city of Lawrence has bike trails running in every direction. And with the new Bike Share program, we can stay in shape as we tour the sites of our beautiful city. Clinton Lake is only a short 30 minute bike ride away from Daisy Hill and has the most incredible sunset location in all of Lawrence. Walking campus may give you the KU calves, but biking can give you the KU thighs. Bike Lawrence today. Oh, in national news, the governor of Oklahoma, Kevin Stitt, commuted the death sentence of Julius Jones hour before he was set to be executed. Jones was sentenced to death in 1999 for the shooting of Paul Howell. Jones has maintained his innocence, and many attorneys say the case leading to the conviction was flawed. The decision by the governor comes from public outcry for Jones after school walkouts and protests. The Farm Bureau has reported that the cost of Thanksgiving dinner for 10 people is up 14 percent over the last year, averaging $53.31. These calculations include turkey, stuffing, sweet potatoes, rolls, cranberries, and pumpkin pie. Turkey alone costs 24 percent more than it did the previous year. Yesterday was the third day of jury deliberation in the homicide trial of Kyle Rittenhouse. The teenager has been accused of killing two people and shooting another during unrest in Kenosha, Wisconsin last summer. Rittenhouse is charged with five felonies after he attended protests with an AR-15. The jury, composed of five men and seven women, deliberated for roughly 16 hours combined on Tuesday and Wednesday. In local news, two KU students have been charged with felonies for theft of the native host panel outside the Spencer Museum of Art. Two 22-year-old students were charged with theft of property that valued from $1,500 to $25,000. The piece was first reported missing in September. Kansas football pulled off a miracle last week, defeating, the, defeating Texas 57-56 to in overtime. The stunner was caused by quarterback Jalen Daniels hitting fullback Jared Casey to secure the two-point conversion, winning the game. The Jayhawks will hope to keep this momentum against the Horned Frogs tomorrow. Kickoff will be at 3 p.m. on Saturday at Fort Worth. Kansas men's basketball dominated Stony Brook last night, 88-59. Oshai Abaji led the Jayhawks with 25 points. KU heads to Orlando next week to open the ESPN Events Invitational against North Texas on Thursday. The women's basketball team has now excelled to 3-0 after defeating University of Nebraska Omaha 81-56 on Wednesday. Aggressive play and forcing turnovers caused the team to go on a 12-2 scoring run opening the second half. The Jayhawks will next host St. Louis University on this Sunday at 2. And finally in the NFL, the Chiefs come off a huge win in primetime, besting the Las Vegas Raiders 41-14. Patrick Mahomes delivered a classic performance, throwing for 406 yards and five touchdowns. Mahomes and company will return home for another tough test against the Dallas Cowboys this Sunday at 3.25 p.m. That does it for us here at Good Morning KU. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving, and go Cowboys!